We're going to have a look now at a very young Asheen Murphy. Very spotty one. Whoa. Is that you at the start? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. I just fell off. And... Look at you. Milking it. Did jockeys like you when you were coming no. through? They didn't, did they? They hated me. Did this change the game for you, do you think? Uh, certainly confidence-wise. I thought I could ride after this. <laughs> How old were you here? I think I was 18 or 19. I remember Andrew bringing me into the office, Andrew Boulding, his trainer, and basically drawing out what he wanted me to do in the race. So he was like, jump, go straight, and then edge over towards the rail and save your smacks for later on in the race. Jeez, it's hard to watch, isn't it? How messy I was, loose on top of them. Do you cringe a bit watching this? Oh your yeah, style's different. absolutely. I remember I came back in the lorry that night, and I worked the next morning. You can imagine air to King's Clear in a horse box. How long that took? Why couldn't you get a car or something? Because I wasn't able to drive. Good reception when you got back. I think so. I remember two women. Uh, presenting the prizes, they kissed me either side. I you were going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was wonderful. I like this, this win, because mm. I like the trainer and I like yeah, the story yeah, around actually. it. He's class, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, I'd lost my claim at this stage. Whoa. And it was quite important. Uh, was that you at the start? Yeah. What happened? I don't know, I just fell off him. Um, it was quite important to get going and get my name out there. Would you believe Jack Kennedy, the jump jockey, is on number 15? You can see where I am, I'm one off the rail. I don't really know what I was thinking here, but you can see my horse's action, his head's up in the air, he, he moves a bit different to other horses. Now Donica's taken off with a mile to run. I wonder That's if who I backed. Donica. Donica in He had front, no yeah. chance doing that. I wonder would he, if one of his jockeys did that now, what he would say to If him. memory serves, I don't think he finishes miles beat when he, right. sh and he should. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I'm... I actually look like I've given this a good ride. I'm, <laughs> All right, mate. Up to now. <laughs> Get it quietly, son. Up to now, I've, I've followed <laughs> the right ones. Yeah, look at Donica. He's still pitching in there on the yeah, fence. Yeah, if he waited. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> that was a good day, that one. We haven't seen crowds like that in a while, have we? Well, in a race, you don't hear them at all, then? Not really, because I'm always thinking about something else, the horse. Normally, where is Frankie? Have you ever been in a race where you think, oh, what am I doing for dinner? Uh, yeah. Did I defrost that steak earlier? <laughs> yeah. Some warrior is back in third, then happily in fourth place. Donica comes out, Wayne comes out, and I'm really wide around the turn. And Why didn't you tuck in, though, if you're going to be wide around the bench? Because the issue is, if I tucked in behind Wayne, and then Shamey is sat last, decides to come round me when the pace steadies, then I'm stuck behind Wayne with... Shamey boxing in. Yes. Yeah. He's an absolute machine, this horse. He would go to the start, he wasn't even thinking about racing. He'd be like neighing at other horses. He'd never pull in the race. He used to wear a ring bit, but he never needed one. It was just the fact he's a big heavy cold. Those big days I really had to concentrate. I did a lot of planning. I had like race maps of where everyone was going to sit in the run and I know that this is one of the best horses I'll ever ride. Um, when he goes to stud at the end of the year, how are we going to replace him? Mm. That's always my thought, particularly with the Colts, at least with the Phillies, we might keep them in training for an extra year. Yeah. If I was 20 years old winning mm. Group 1, I'd be Every walking around like Conor McGregor. <laughs> Well, everyone thinks... I had a Jaguar XF. Oh. Everyone thinks... Uh, <laughs> did jockeys like you when you were coming no. through? They didn't, did they? They hated me. Lightning spear. Oh my God, this horse caused me so much mental anguish. How many times I was beating a nose in the lock-ins. Oh, yeah. Look, I was in front before and after the line. Uh, I was third in a Queen Anne maybe twice. And eventually, you have to start looking at the jockey. Do you like it when we're down at the start chatting to you? Yeah, well, I'm always very chilled. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Ryan Moore probably doesn't quite give us that. <laughs> Frankie isn't in this race. Is he not last? He must have been suspended or something. So this was really straightforward. I was very happy, but I made one decision in a second. I could see that James Doyle's coat was hanging. 
So I decide to opt to stay in, to get cover for longer. And James actually manages to kind of keep him straight. But I didn't expect Jim Crowley to come out off the fence as much as he did. And now I'm kind of in traffic. I want to get going, but I don't really have anywhere to go. And now I get a split and look at the kick this horse has. He's an absolute rocket when I give him a smack. Wow. And we are going pretty quick there. I mean, we'd, we'd have been traveling at 38 mile an hour before he changed gear. Twice yeah. a winner of the Celebration Mile here at Goodwood, and he's burst between rivals. Shake Farhad doesn't give you instructions, does he? No, no. No, it's sometimes I will say to him before a race, oh, I might lead on this fella today. Yeah. And he's always, yeah, 100%. See what you got to do. Yeah. Still celebrating. How beautiful is that horse? I mean, he is the most good looking horse. Was it me doing it? Yeah, there I am. God, you look young then. <laughs> Mind it. You've done well to sustain all the <laughs> I hair. I do look young there, actually. My dad's yeah. going bald. Is he? But he is 70. <laughs> He'll hate you. Did you do any other sport at school? Soccer. Any good? No, useless. Scrum off at rugby? No, never played rugby. Not strong enough. Imagine if a grown teenager fell on me. Oh, don't do that to me, mate. Can you not have one? Not today. Why not? Because I've got 8-5 on Thursday. So about to load up. Do you have to watch what you eat? Yeah. Can't have cupcakes I'm a lot. fat. What's your natural weight? About 11 stone. <laughs> what is it really? No, I don't know. Like, Would it be 11? I well, I was 11 stone when I was off for Christmas into New Year. That's heavy. I know. I couldn't fit any of my clothes on. Man boobs and massive legs. What's your normal diet then? It's not cakes anyway. Try and eat sensibly. I would, haven't eaten today. Oh. I had sushi last night. Sir Michael. Sir Michael Stout said, do whatever you want. Uh, I was in two minds. I rode her at Ascot and she was too keen. So automatically, I think everyone expected me to take a lead and really take my time to get her to drop the bit. But I worked out cantering to post that she was really relaxed. That day. And yeah, and I thought if I can jump out and go a little bit left, she won't even initially, she won't even realize she's in the race. And that's what I did. And then I went back right to the fence and she was so, so good. Good race this. Is that yeah. one, one master? One master down the fence. I can't remember what Ryan is on. I've got momentum. I've saved energy the whole race. I haven't yet picked my stick up. Now I've asked her to really lengthen and go. I have the rail as well, which is obviously an advantage. Were you headed ever? No. This was brilliant. I got a massive buzz out of this because as a child, uh, you grow up watching Sir Michael Stout train ARC winners, workforce. And I never thought I'd be in the position to ride him a group one winner. And in Cheveley Park's colours as well. I mean, it's just... I mean, I love riding for Stout and O'Brien uh, because I remember Andrew even calling me into the office when I was going through my claim quite quickly. He was like, we need to slow you down because you might pick up rides and handicaps at Royal Ascot for Sir Michael Stout. Yeah. Um, so even he, like, looks up to him, you know. She had a really tenacious... You're massive in Japan, right? Well... Shinjuku and Shibuya are the biggest stations in Tokyo and I'm on the, all the billboards. Um, what, Calvin ones. Klein's? No, 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 uh, on the horse because right. horse racing is so big there. <laughs> not underwear modelling. Yeah. No, not underwear, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> I'm up for that. My modelling career is ahead just of me. Wonderful, just the slowest to leave the starting stall. I was unsure what was going to happen here. In the end, Ryan and Frankie kind of go forward together. We're going like 12 and a half seconds of furlong here. If it slows down to 13 and I can move without having to get into like 12.8 or whatever, yeah. uh, this sounds very technical, but if I can do it smoothly without using petrol, great. But chances are I won't because yeah, someone's yeah. going to put pressure on me. So I'm following Pierre Charles Budo, who is on the filly that won the coronation at Ascot. And She's very small and I decide to go for an inside run because I just thought it would open up and I got a little bit hampered there and I have to wait and I keep going here and Frankie rolls off the fence. I'm always going to win here now. 
Do you call out to like PC or jockeys? So I did. I, I shouted at him. Let for me real. out. Let me out. I know. I just said PC. I'm in. I'm in here. Um, because he's he can't win at that stage. So it's in his best interest not to wipe me out. Next week in France, he's gonna need me to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Look at you milking it. <laughs> Jesus, get it quietly. I son. don't do enough of this. The Japanese people are watching at home. Yeah. I want them to appreciate what British racing is like as well. Is it nice when you see your, your, your best mate interviewing you after live, Matt Chapman? Oh, brilliant. It, that, do you know what he's stopped there for? Not for our cameras, but for his own Instagram. <laughs> 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 are there still any scraps in the waiting room? I heard you had one when you were younger. Yeah. Martin Dwyer, I think it was, was it? Yeah, no, I think he just chased me after the race. <laughs> Raging. You did nearly kill him, to be fair. I know. Goes in. All in. I was a little bit worried about the draw on the fence, but I knew one Alcano would go forward to lead, and he has lots of pace. With persuasion, stark out and which Andrea rolls up. I deliberately stay off the fence because I think, okay, if we're going quick, Andrea's going to stop a lot faster than Ryan's going to stop. So I basically get on the back of Ryan throughout the whole race. Are you outpaced there? Though? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I mean, we did break the track record, so... It's the fastest they've ever gone on this track. It's nice watching Frankie finish second to me. That's twice now. Twice in a row. Are you and Frankie mates? Yeah, very close, yeah. My only is classic. Is that your only classic? Yeah. In England and Ireland and France? Yeah. You've got to pull your finger out, mate. I know. <laughs> He's a gorgeous horse, isn't he? Yeah. Most of the good horses are good looking. The ugly ones are the slow ones. Five to two, dream of dreams, nine to two. I love this horse. Yeah, he's a legend. Unfortunately, he's had an injury. In the centre of the nose band, a little bit slow in getting... My plan was just to roll away, get follow Holly, basically. I knew she'd be on a front runner, Glenn Shiel. Um, just get some cover, because he can be keen if he doesn't have cover. Funny horse, he's changed a lot with racing. This is quite a good race, Golden Horde, Art Power, the Tinman. That meant a lot to me. Dream of dreams, it, wins the it was a tricky time, September. I had all the bad press and and then again this one was similar. My positive urine sample was leaked to the press. I was staying in Newmarket with Sheikh Fad and he was like, we've known about this for months. It doesn't matter what the public are saying, just go out and win on the horses. And Andrew in the paddock was about to say, or go forward but take a lead and I said, Andrew, I'm going to make the running on this way. And he said, okay, great. And that is the brilliant thing about riding for the people I do. The reason I used to let her roll was because she's not like a super fast sprinter. Really? She a uh, bit disorganised in the dip. Although she's won a group one at Newmarket, it isn't really her track. Um, she mm. prefers the ground to meet her. She's one on class. Though, Look how she? tough she is. Her ears are absolutely pinned back. To be able to just sort of focus on horse racing, it's more like, I would imagine it's more you looking around thinking everyone's talking about me. Mm. That's the bit that I would hate. Yeah. I proved I didn't take any drugs because I passed the hair sample. Yeah. Um, and it was just a lot of bother. It's just... But were you able to still enjoy those moments or was it like Absolutely. as soon you know as you what? crossed it the line? It was more, it was even more enjoyable really? because it was like you controlled the weight of the world on my shoulders and I can carry it. You know? yeah. Chester, first to map this year. Now this race is interesting for lots of reasons. Yeah. Entertaining for us. I've never it watched home. it again. Basically later on in the race there's going to be a stewards inquiry and then... Yeah. Ryan Moore in the Stewards Inquiry said something along the lines of you weren't strong enough to take a gap or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right? Good, would you find trouble there, don't you? Oh, I mean, it can be the most frustrating week. I did a really light weight on this horse as well. It's not a race you want to lose in the Stewards Room, is it? No. You're going well. Yeah. On the right in the white and blue, finishing well. Fabricate is there. Still no one. Gets How have you gone to stewards from here? Oh, he drifted left under Ooh. under my left hand drive. <sighs> yeah. yeah, that's right. I had my stick in the correct hand, but I did cause interference. And 
I don't understand what you can do differently though. Because well, they say switch your hands, you've done that, you've tried to correct your horse. I suppose I should probably should have basically stopped riding and pulled him that way, yeah. But what did you think when Ryan said that in the steward's room? Oh, I was gutted. Were you raging? No, I've just felt a bit like, like a, a child. It's you know? a mug off, right? A bit, but... Did you say something to him afterwards? No, no. I was just gutted. Are you happy reliving this? Yeah, it's nice to actually look back and see, you know, the errors I made. Um, this horse, funny enough, ran the next day with Ryan on it and hung as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Shouting match, if you like, after the line, then get back in the way and we would be mates again. Or yeah, you've got another horse race in half an hour. Better to yeah to just leave it. And there will be instances where, if you weren't knocked over, you would have won. And there's no inquiry because they can't always see everything. But I mean, it's a roller coaster, isn't it? Ups and downs.